on my big show. Ronan Keating plays Celebrity Centre All. Fabulously funny, Josh Winnicom. Jaw dropping acrobatics from Chili and Fly. Music from pop sensation Jess Glynn and rock god Brian Adams. And who will be our unexpected star? Ladies and gentlemen, it's the big show. Please welcome your host, Michael McIntyre. Celebrity Centre All. Oh. Fancy a bit of that? And as ever, one member of the public will be getting the biggest surprise of their life when they become our unexpected star of the show. <laughs> I do live here in London, so it's very convenient for me, obviously, to come out and perform here. And it's a beautiful theatre. It's an absolute pleasure to be here because recently I've been doing gigs abroad, which is new. And for some reason, I'm Norway's biggest comedian, ladies and gentlemen. You're looking at Norway's biggest comedian. I don't know how that's happened. <laughs> I've never really been to Scandinavia before. The, the hotel was just all minimalist, you know? Just everything was just what you needed, you know, just a bed and sink. But it was good, because normally hotels, they get very confusing now. You, you, don't, you never know where the light switch is for stuff, or they have these sensor lights now. We go in the bathroom and it just comes on. <laughs> and you think, oh, that's good. But then you're on the loo and it goes off. <laughs> You have to try and get it back on, so you have to do it. You're doing things you don't really want to be doing. And I, it's been so long since I've stayed in the hotel, they just had a normal tap that you turn on and you turn off. But they couldn't work the taps. I'm in this hotel room in Oslo, trying to get water. <laughs> and I, I called maintenance. And the guy just came up and went, you do this, you do that, idiot. <laughs> So I was very happy to be in this quite simple hotel room in Norway. And what I really liked was just one switch. There was like one master switch next to the door that controlled the whole room. So I thought, oh, this is so easy, because normally, you know, you've got to find the switch for different sections of the hotel room. Then the lamps next to the bed, you don't know if it's on the neck. You know, you've got fiddling for the neck. <laughs> or you look at the wire, is it on the wire? Is it on the wire? Or oh, the neck, is it the neck? The wire? And then after about 20 minutes, oh, it's the stampy one, it's the stampy one! <laughs> I was so thrilled that just one light turned everything off, one switch turned everything off, so I went. And this is after my gig, I was a little, I'd had a couple of drinks and it was late, and I thought, oh, I'll just switch that off, obviously bedtime. And it's hard to get back to the bed now because it's dark. So I'm, so I'm doing that walk when you're expecting to hit something. <laughs> so I got into my bed, and unbeknownst to me, and for no, I have no idea why this was there, there was a switch behind the pillow that also controlled the same light. <laughs> the bed and then all the lights in the room went on. <laughs> I thought someone had come in. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Is there somebody there? Hello? <laughs> well, that's very peculiar. So I went over <laughs> to the door, <laughs> turned the lights off, dark again, made my way slowly <laughs> back to the bed. <laughs> Got myself in. Lay as soon as my head hit the pillow, the lights went back up. What earth is going on? So I marched back quite quickly. I convinced myself of some kind of sensor. So this time I was very, very careful. I slowly got to the bed and nothing happened. I was like, oh, this is fine. Rolled over, the light went on again. So I, ph I phoned maintenance. Now, bear in mind, this man at maintenance already thinks I'm completely mental as a person. So I call him. I'm lying there now in the light. I lock, there's a knock on the door. I go, oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. He said, is it taps again? No, the taps are fine. <laughs> oh, watch this. The lights keep going on, and I don't know, I don't know why. There's something wrong. After a certain amount of time, they just go on. OK, I'm going to show you, all right? So I turn the light off, and I'm standing in the dark with this Norwegian man. <laughs> follow, follow me. Come with me. I'm holding him a bit. Come on, come with me. Come on, come with me. 
All right. All right. Are you there? Yes. Just sit there. Just sit and get into the bed, OK? I lay in the bed and nothing happened. I'm just lying. I'm lying in the dark. And he just stood there and went, please let me go. So I want to go. So he, went, he was knocking over furniture. He made his way out to the door in the dark. I rolled over and the lights went on. Oh. Now it is time for my favourite game in the whole world. Why, of course, it's sent to all! <laughs> this, of course, is where I take somebody's mobile phone and send a text of my choosing and see what hilarious replies they get. So let's find out who's in our royal sent to all box this week. Why? It's Ronan Keating! <laughs> Hi. That's my wife's time. Oh, hi. Hello <laughs> there. Nice to see you. You oh, too. Hey. Hi. <laughs> You're really clutching her hand there. You're yeah, very yeah, nervous. A little bit nervous. Yeah. That's very sweet. Don't worry. Well, Ronan, how are you? How's it all going? Yeah, everything's good. New album out, so right. working on that. What's it called, Junior? Uh, time of my life. I love it. I love it already. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that it's going to be 25 years since Boyzone. Is that right? Yeah, end of next year is kind of when it oh. begins. Yeah. It's that's pretty crazy. It is, but you right? look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sure. No, you are. I no. can see the way you said that. You were like, I know I look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you've been spending a lot of time in Australia, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm working on The Voice in Australia. Um, oh, the, the program? My wife, Not my your wife. own? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm going to practice, I need to get a long way from here. <laughs> Um, anyway, <laughs> can I confirm that you've got no idea what text I'm going to put into your phone? Absolutely not. And you've idea. not told anybody to expect a text? Not one person. From you tonight. OK, well, I need to get your phone uh, from you. And we've got this contraption here. So if you could just pop the phone into the cushion. And I'll, I'll bring that down. Here we go. OK. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> of Ronan Keating's mobile telephone! <laughs> OK. I'm going to pop it in there, and then this should hopefully pop up. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> Fatify! <laughs> What's fatty? Baldify! <laughs> You're absolutely about looking worse! My kids. My kids put them on. How do you do... <laughs> So hit the camera. Oh, hit the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just press the middle bit. Yeah. So I've got to do Baldify now. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh, well, that was you! <laughs> it's Ronan! It's Bald Ronan! Oh! That's, ta that's a take it off to the Christmas of 2023. <laughs> <laughs> a little glimpse into the future there. Oh, wow. It's too fun. <laughs> now, it is time for me to play Send to All by sending a text message, and we're just going to send it to his contacts. And we're going to see what replies he gets at the end of the show. So, we'll start with feeling a little insecure. <laughs> Do you still think I'm hot? I mean, Harry Styles, <laughs> Bieber, and that guy who plays Poldark. <laughs> <laughs> K 
can I still compete <laughs> with these guys? <laughs> Let's sign it. How do you normally sign? I might say row sometimes. Row? Yeah, depending on who it's saying to. Yeah, row. Row. Okay. <laughs> row, row. <laughs> there it goes. Get me down the street. <laughs> Merrily, merry. <laughs> No. <laughs> no um. kiss. <laughs> Wrong. I don't know. What, do you think I should go with no signing? <laughs> no. I'm sending it! <laughs> OK. All right, please, oh. one more time. Ronan Keating, what a sport. <laughs> what a sport. Thank you so much. And we'll catch up with all your replies later in the show. OK. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for a French-Canadian acrobatic duo making their British television debut. What do you think? <laughs> Prepare to gasp in amazement at the remarkable talents of Chili and Fly! Taking. Congratulations. One more time. What about that, Chili and Fly? Oh, thank you very much. Brilliant. Oh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have some amazing stars on this stage tonight, but one of our performers isn't actually at the theatre yet. That's because right now they don't even know they're on the show. You're going to love this. <laughs> Each week on The Big Show, we're going to surprise a member of the public and they will be performing on this very stage as our unexpected star of the show! <laughs> okay. So this is Craig Haywood. Oh, dear. There's Craig. 
Craig is a locksmith from Poole, and we've called him out to the theatre tonight to fix a broken lock. <laughs> Basically, he's going to come through into the back of the theatre, and we've mocked up a corridor that is a fake corridor that actually leads all the way to here, and then I've got the last bit which we're going to fix on. So he comes through the corridor, and then there's a door here, <laughs> which is locked. So you really have to help here, so you have to be totally quiet. So he will be inside here, trying to open this lock, and then, of course, when he does open it, <laughs> you're going to give him the biggest surprise of his life. OK, you up for that? <laughs> because later on, he will then be performing um, at the end of the show in, basically, a huge, big production that he obviously knows absolutely nothing about. <laughs> He's been set up by his boss, Kim, and his wife, Stacy, who I believe is here. Stacy, where are you, darling? Stacy. There she is, Stacy. All right, I'm going I'm to come down and check to you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Stacy. <laughs> yes! Hello, Stacy, darling. Nice to see you. Um, Stacy, everyone, Stacy. <laughs> you look very beautiful. And, uh, so, how are you? I'm all First right. of all, a bit feel, nervous. Where does Craig think you are? He thinks I'm at home. So it's really going to be so many surprises just to see you here, yeah. let alone to perform on the show. I know. Is he a bit of a performer? Is he a confident man, um, Craig? He can be, yes, especially as a locksmith. Um, he thinks right. he's the best of the best. So. He thinks he's the, he can get through any yeah. lock. Yeah, he thinks he can do <laughs> any lock. So he, he, he sees himself like as the James Bond oh, yeah. of locksmithing. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Stacey, <laughs> who set the whole thing up. <laughs> so Cree is on his way to the theatre right now for the surprise of his life. And trust me, his performance at the end of the show is going to be truly spectacular and will put his locksmith abilities to the ultimate test. <laughs> My next guest is a rock legend who's topped the charts in over 40 countries. His single, Everything I Do, I Do It For You, was number one from when I was nine to when I was 22 years old. <laughs> Please welcome the absolutely fantastic, what a treat, Brian Adams is here!
so much for coming on. Oh, what a pleasure. One more time, the legendary Brian Adams. OK, ladies and gentlemen, very exciting news. Craig, our unexpected star of the show, is in the building. He's in the building, OK? <laughs> He's in our backstage office right now, and I think we have live... Can we go to him live? Is that possible? That's him live. So there he is, Craig, on the right, and that is... Is that Kim, his boss? So that on the left is Kim, his boss, who's in on it, right? And they're just chatting, aren't they, about locks and stuff? Is he showing off now, Craig? He's like, I could probably open any lock, me. I've got it all. <laughs> Seriously, see those shoelaces? I could undo them, do them up without you even knowing. In fact, I just did it now. Did you see? Did you see? I did it with my left hand. I did it with that. You see the hand I'm banging? I did it with that hand. You did that to my foot that I'm wiggling right now, that one. Yes, I did, Kim. And you see that light over there? I just changed it. That's how far I'm <laughs> Anyway, Craig will be called away shortly to pick the lock of a door that is attached to the fake corridor. So, here we have our corridor, as I've mentioned. Right, so he's going to come through here, and then he will find the door locked here. There should be a camera picking me up here. Could you see me there? <laughs> <laughs> so, th here's the lock, here's the lock here. So, he's going to have to fiddle with this. He's literally going to open it. And that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Not only is Craig going to have to open this lock using all his locksmith skills and be given the surprise of his life by seeing all you to find out he's on the show tonight, but we're also going to surprise him with who set him up for tonight by giving him another challenge to unpick this rather difficult-looking lock and inside Stacy. Are you all right, Stacy? How are you doing? That? <laughs> Not twice, if you're okay. Knock twice if you're OK. Fantastic. <laughs> right. Oh, I've got to lock the door. Forgot. <laughs> Isn't it the easiest job of his life? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to lock, I'm going to lock that door. That's locked. OK. <laughs> All right, we're ready. So. I say we go and get him. Let's go and get him. Let's bring him up. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hello, Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. I know That's we've been a long, long time waiting, haven't we? I'm, I'm, I'm happy to take it. Are you no. the best man for the job? Do you mind? So yeah, it's quite quick. I've only like, bought, like, certain stuff with us, so if I've got it, I'll do it. It's no problem. All right. Well, if you, uh, wait, uh, sorry, if you wait here, I think he's going to be on his way anyway shortly, okay. so we'll land right. we'll we'll back with you. Thanks for this. Much appreciated, yeah. We, you know, it happens all the time in this place. You know, I'd like to see how you do it, actually. So, to see how impressive. Not too much pressure. Yeah, sorry for keeping you waiting, by the way. No, that's all right. No. Right, here we go, sir. So. <coughs> so, it's just this lock here. Yeah, I think. Is that one? Yeah, it's that piece there, yeah. It's locked still, yeah. Okay. Yeah, have a look at it. <coughs> so, is that your boss downstairs, is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. What's he like? Nice guy? Yeah, he's cool. Yeah? Yeah, he's a nice guy. Have a look at this. So what are you doing exactly? Uh, just trying. Okay. Yeah, okay. You've done it. Okay. Just push that open for me. Obviously, this is not a normal job. No, no. <laughs> We've played a little surprise on you with oh, the really? help with the help of your mate Kim. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there's two thousand people in this theatre. We've got an amazing show tonight. So, you had no idea about this? Uh, no. <laughs> so, tell me, Craig, how good a locksmith do you think you are? <laughs> you can't ask me that in front of two thousand people. <laughs> I, I do, okay. Could you get past any lock, do you think? Any lock, <laughs> has any lock defeated you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Oops. <laughs> All right, so a simple padlock. Uh, we've got another lock over here. You've got your tools. Okay. Um, so we've got a little bit of a problem with this. Um, well, to be honest, it was delivered by accident, but, you know, I just want to know what's in it. So, uh, padlock, what do you think? Pretty standard that you can get uh, in there? Yeah, I'll give it a go. How long do you think it would take you to open that? You got any bolt cutters? Bolt cutters? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> All right, good luck. OK, okay. let's see if you get that one open. All right, let's give him a little bit of atmosphere as we see Craig opening doors. There he goes. Oh, he's hard at work. Look at that. Got it all in here. He's got things in his mouth. He's poking around. There are sparks flying, ladies and gentlemen. Sparks are flying in the lock. So, Stacey, we might just take your seat back in the audience. Craig, come with me. OK. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> OK, Craig, you've proved yourself as a top locksmith. And we didn't just bring you here, of course, to open a few locks. You're here to take part in the ultimate challenge for any locksmith. <laughs> to hear what you're going to do tonight, Craig, okay. I'm going to pass you over to one of the world's leading illusionists, Jamie Allen. Craig, this is the ultimate escapology trick. It's never been performed on British television. That's why we chose you, Craig, because only the James Bond of locksmiths could attempt such a terrifying task. You're going to have to use all of your unparalleled lock-picking abilities to free yourself before the spinning saws of doom turn you into wafer-thin slices. Is there any way we can make it an easier trip? <laughs> Maybe just if he can just open a door that's already open? <laughs> I think we can do it. I think you can do it. Do you think Craig can do this? <laughs> Craig can do this. All right, Craig. All right. So you're going to go backstage, you're going to rehearse with Jamie, okay? okay? And you're going to come back at the end of the show to perform that <laughs> trick for us. <laughs> All I have to ask you, Craig, are you up for it? Yeah, I'm up for it. Come on, then, Craig. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's our unexpected star of the show. It's our locksmith, Craig. Brilliant. <laughs> OK, ladies and gentlemen, we have the wonderful Ronan Keating here ah. playing so to all. <laughs> I wonder how it's going. Do we know how many texts Ronan's got back so far? <laughs> Apparently some corkers, which is very exciting. <laughs> my next guest is quite simply one of my favourite comedians and one of the hottest stand-ups in the country right now. <laughs> I'm so pleased to have him on my show tonight. Please welcome star of The Last Leg and his own BBC sitcom, Josh. It's the wonderful Josh Winnicombe Winner! Yes, you're right to woo, yes. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a genuine pleasure to be here. It's, it's lovely to be out of the house. It is, I try and... Some people just laughing at the idea I ever leave the house. <laughs> no, I do, I do, I eat out. I had a situation in a restaurant. Have you had this recently? I went in, I just got offered some free bread. He so went in and he sat down and he went, um, here's the menus. Then he went, before you start, do you want some bread? <laughs> no. Because I'm not a duck. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted some bread, I'd be down at the pond with my mates. <laughs> I mean, how bad is the food on your menu? <laughs> There's the menu, but I'd fill up on bread if I was you, mate. It's awful. <laughs> then he came over. I thought he was going to take my order. He said, do you want some more bread? <laughs> Who's in your kitchen? Jesus! <laughs> Best bread in a restaurant, we all know it, naan bread. Oh, I love naan bread. Only in a restaurant. Don't make the mistake I did a few weeks ago. 
Try and recapture the glory with a supermarket naan bread. <laughs> Who do they think they are, kid? <laughs> that is not and has never will be a naan bread. <laughs> they brought one of them out in a restaurant. Sorry, is this a prank? Because <laughs> I asked for a naan bread and you've brought me out a piece of futon. <laughs> and yes, I have tried sprinkling droplets of water on it. <laughs> Makes no difference. They're then hunched over my tap with my supermarket naan bread. Splashing away. I'm trying to keep a beached whale alive. It's like I'm waterboarding my naan bread for information. Tell me why poppadoms are so Moorish. It just runs off, it's waterproof. I've got a bit of food that is both wet and dry at the same time. I could use it as an edible umbrella. I only do British holidays. I do I don't like flying, my parents will go on these foreign holidays. My parents are the kind of people that will go abroad and then get you presents from their holiday. No one wants this. <laughs> Last year they came back with a key ring that said Morocco. <laughs> so every time I get my keys out I can go, oh yeah, I haven't been to Morocco. <laughs> my dad will always buy this gift. I remember we went a few years ago on a family holiday to York, right? We, where there he's buying all this stuff from the gift shop. I said, why are you buying this tat? He said, well, you know. We should buy people some things to show them we've been to York. <laughs> I said, I think they'll believe us. <laughs> I don't think they're going to ask for evidence. <laughs> Unless you've got a multicolored rubber with the word York on it. I'm not buying that tall story. <laughs> Why is this a holiday or an alibi? <laughs> uh, the main reason I don't go on holiday abroad, I don't like flying. It terrifies me. I'm, I'm afraid of flying. I don't know how people aren't afraid of flying. About a year ago, I was at an airport. All the flights were cancelled due to bad weather. People were complaining. <laughs> Why are you complaining? Surely far worse would be you turn up at the airport, the announcement comes, and your flight is the only one that isn't cancelled. <laughs> EasyJet flight E4597 is going to have a go for it. <laughs> I just want to hate when you get on the flight, they go, just, you know, uh, we're about half an hour late taking off, but uh, don't worry, I'll try and make up a bit of time in the air. <laughs> I don't want to hear that, I'm scared enough as it is. <laughs> well, the news you're going to be speeding. <laughs> That's what get on and go, just so you know, we're a couple of hours behind, but don't worry. I know a shortcut across North Korean airspace. <laughs> <laughs> Who fancies the loop? The loop, you only live once, let's do it. <laughs> And the entertainment's not enough to distract you. There's the films. The other option, isn't it? Watching that computerised map of your journey. <laughs> Who is that for? <laughs> no, I'm not really into films. No, I think I'll just watch the sat-nav for the next six hours, yeah. <laughs> Why do I need to know how far I am on my journey? I'll tell you when I'm going to get off. When I land! <laughs> I'm going over my house. I'll just jump out here. <laughs> Pointless stats below outside temperature. <laughs> Who cares? I'm in here. <laughs> outside temperature minus 20. Oh, thank God I checked. <laughs> so I was going to nip out for a fag. <laughs> what about I put my parker on before I go wing walking? <laughs> and then they turn the entertainment off as you're coming in to land. They'll just turn it off. Why? Sorry, it's a video player. I refuse to accept that the technology interferes. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to have to turn it off, because it turns out the pause button is also the one that brings the wheels up and down. <laughs> you know what happened while they happened the other day? We came into land, some pressed fast forward, we only took off again. <laughs> uh, you have been um, an absolutely lovely audience. It's a genuine honour to play uh, this. It's... Um, <laughs> Just so nice. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Good night. I've just seen Craig backstage, and he seems quite cool now. He's, you know, he's settling in, he seems very relaxed, and he's been rehearsing. And I think we have some footage of Craig rehearsing. There, well, there he's showing him the lot. 
It doesn't really look like they're rehearsing. They're just chatting about, so how do you not open it again? You put it in there. <laughs> No, they're having a chat. So basically, all I can tell you is that they're on it, Craig is on it. Anyway, Ronan, how are you? Are you enjoying the show tonight? I am loving the show. It's fun, isn't it? My jaw's hurting. Yay! I can't that's, stop laughing. That's it's good, terrible. that's good. So, I am in possession of your phone. It's in my pocket. <laughs> um, I don't know what replies you've got, so I want to experience this with you. Let's remind everybody the text that I sent. Feeling a little insecure? Do you think I'm still hot? <laughs> I mean, Harry Styles, Bieber, that guy who plays Poldock. Can I still compete with these guys? <laughs> well, we sent it into the phone, and it's time to see what responses we got. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ronan Keating playing Celebrity Centre All. <laughs> All right. We have had lots of replies. Gerard Keating? My brother, yeah. Your brother. It's just an amazing text from your brother. <laughs> literally texted, no. <laughs> it's great to get that level of family support. <laughs> Am I hot? Feeling a bit insecure. Can I compete with these guys? No. <laughs> Shano? Sh Shane from Boys Own. Shano, yeah. He says, it's borderline, bro, dot, dot, dot. But if you hang out with me a bit more, I'll guarantee you, you'll stay cool and current. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, cos they're not really suspecting. <laughs> Is this the kind of text you normally send? It's it starts with, I'm feeling a bit insecure. It's <laughs> oh, this is great. It's a regular thing. Oh, my God. Oh, who's Amanda Abington? Uh, the actress. She's yeah. just texted, is this that guy from Westlife? <laughs> I think she deserves a text back. Uh, yeah. How very dare you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. Oh, Sam Burgess? Yeah, the rugby player. Oh, well, yeah. you're very well connected. Thanks. Well, Sam Burgess has given you three emojis of people crying with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gone, I'd say a solid eight out of ten. <laughs> I'll take that from Sam. <laughs> he's going to take yeah. that. He's going to take that from Sam. <laughs> Gary Keating, a relative. My brother, yeah. There's your brother. Bieber and Poldark don't have a patch on you. Harry is a tough one, though. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Matt Goss. Oh, really? <laughs> I love that you've got Matt Goss's number. I love <laughs> when will I, will I be famous? <laughs> he started with brother. I think you meant to send this to someone else, LOL. <laughs> but you're definitely hot, sweetheart. <laughs> Russell C. Who's Russell C? Oh, God. <laughs> That's Russell Crowe. <laughs> Russell Crowe! <laughs> Gladiator! <laughs> My name is Maximus Aurelius Maximus. Really father of a murdered son, son <laughs> to a murdered father. And I, I shall get my vengeance, Roland King. <laughs> I really didn't want him to respond. Oh, no. you, nothing gets past Crow. Right. Ha ha, someone's got your phone, mate. Okay. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> yes, I have his phone. Yes. <laughs> and my name <laughs> is Maximus, <laughs> father no. of a murdered son. On to Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's it, unless anything's come through while we were. Oh, oh yes, something has just come through. Don't you smile to me on the subway? But you look at another man. <laughs> James Blunt has just texted while I was standing here. <laughs> that's 
just come through. I just want to hold this phone all night. <laughs> OK, James Blunt says, Ronan, you are the king. <laughs> they are all just cheap imitations of you. <laughs> you will always... It's not, it's not finished. You will always be number one. P.S. We should be together. <laughs> She was going, oh, man! Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely, truly amazing. Ronan Keating playing set to all. What about me? Oh, brilliant. Russell Crowe. So, the time has come for our unexpected star of the show to perform. <laughs> yes, it is Locksmith Craig's big moment. Earlier tonight, as you may remember, Craig came here to open a locked door and he has agreed heroically to be our unexpected star of the show. So I don't want to miss this. So I'm going to come into the audience and join you, Stace, if that's OK. I'm coming down. All right. So do you think you could... Sorry, do you mind moving up if you don't mind? I'll just, I'll just sit in here. OK. Oh, well, there's a popcorn in here as well. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh. Can I help <laughs> The time has come. Please welcome illusionist Jamie Allen tonight here with our unexpected star of the show. It's Craig the Locksmith! <laughs> Craig, this is a trick I've wanted to try for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never really had anybody with the right credentials to do it. I'm going to lock you in place, Craig, between these two industrial spinning buzzsaws. And they move into this box by means of these high-pressure air rams, and they do it in a little under 10 seconds. And once they start, they will not stop. So, Craig, you think you're the James Bond of locksmiths? James Bond always escapes. Let's see if you can. insurance and the will. It was very, very stressful for us. And of course, huge thanks and congratulations. Jamie Allen, ladies and gentlemen, what about that? Jamie, thank you so much. Thank you. Incredible. And one more time, did you enjoy that break? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you seem a lot more relaxed and you look I so feel... spectacular in this I get-up. I feel like Austin Powers in this suit. Didn't you wear one at the same time? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Did you enjoy the whole experience? Awesome, yeah. Thanks very much for having me. Amazing. Well, what about that, ladies and gentlemen, please? Fantastic sport. He's really been through it tonight. One more time, the unexpected star of our show tonight. It's Craig the Locksmith! <laughs> and a huge thank you, ladies and gentlemen, to all my guests tonight. 
Join me next week where somebody else will be given the surprise of their life and become the unexpected star of the show. Another celebrity, of course, will be playing said to all, and there'll be more fun and games with you, the audience, and star performances. But right now, Seeing Us Out is a multi-million single-selling pop sensation. It's the wonderful Jess Glynn! <laughs> Thank you.